this is actually the future. But you'll wait. Wait. Let me think about this now. <laughs> No, so I'm doing this. I've already done all the auction stuff, other than a few things. Or something that was in the front seat. And this is all my Salvation Army stuff, which you're seeing before the other stuff. Anyway, um, I'm also eating. Cause I'm very hungry. I'm gonna chop this up so you won't know where I cut it out. My thumb and roll from the auction. Well, no, no. Dislike. Always drink healthy. Yeah, right. Alright, I want to get done. Gotta go see my mom before she goes to bed. Uh, this is one of the things from the auction. It was on the seat, so I didn't show it. the other stuff that you'll see later after this. Uh, it was a book that has miscellaneous junk in it from somebody like you, me, that used to make books up and I put patches in them or whatever. A uh, couple patches, a couple Christmas cards, but see, they're all remakes. Four dollars for a remake. Oh, hey, there's a pen on it, too. All right, so I guess you're getting a little extra for your money. Uh, anyway, so I got this English Marks and Darts 9 Dart Out, and a Decade of Remembrance for 9-11, and a Tweety Bird. That looks like a pretty vintage Tweety Bird. It's a little dirty, but that's still pretty neat. Hey, Larry. Uh, I got a few uh, cool uh, Boy Scout patches. Department of Transportation. Is this even lining up? I mean, you know, I haven't checked anything, so this whole thing could be garbage, and I won't have an auction video. I will not have it. I'm mad. Throwing it. Oh, did I just... Something just got... <laughs> Whoops. I'm not sure what just happened, but I swear I just threw something. Did I? Must have been just a sound effect. Anyway. Everybody wants me to be angry. I'm sorry. I'm not angry. When I think of being angry, I kind of think it's funny. So. Uh, some maps are in here. Southern South America. Greece and the Aegean. The world. And uh, World War II or Europe and North America. There's some Civil War map. And then these two, these things look old but they are remakes of posters and their postcards. Oh, uh, here's cool. The Seneca Caverns decal. Now that's, I didn't see that in here. So that's why I like buying this junk. Here's a non-resident non elk stamp. Is that for going elk hunting? Hey, Larry. And here's a weird admitting one for the uh, Cadence Theater, August 31st, total 50 cents matinee show. Is there something that that means? I haven't had a chance to look it up, but there's a, like a pin and a uh, keychain that looks like a ticket. Then there's some... Uh, Space Shuttle cards, and here's something, oh, here's a pen with some, these pens don't have leather pieces hanging off, and I have it taped, ah, oh, my, 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 cinnamon roll, um, hold on, technical difficulty, Larry, oh, I can't get it. Getting loud for this late at night? What the heck? Are these people don't have homes? Uh, here is whatever that. Oh, it's like a. Probably off of a gun belt or some kind of cowboy thing. I don't know. It's not. You I mean, I like a toy, you know. It's not. I don't think it's made for anything serious. Alright, I just threw it in that box where it's going to get lost. Uh, there's some John Deere tractor cards, too, and some super trucks. Hope those lights look good. Um, so there's that, and then uh, got some free stuff downtown today. The shop by the park had their tables out of free junk. I got a Casper book. I got the bug, a Bug's Life. They had a few other. I left. I didn't take everything. I don't even know if I needed this. This has a special in my videos. You know, hack jobs in that movie. That's where I stole it from. Hack job. Monsters in Ink, because it's a later, this is like from 2004, or two, oh, it was only 2001, 2002, I thought this was one of the later ones, but, uh, oh, a blue tape, and a Muppets Christmas tree. That was the free stuff. And then, uh, Salvation Army, 
they were doing their bags for dollar DVDs again, so I dug through their shopping cart this time, and I, I'm not going to show all of them. Uh, this one has American Splendor, that's, I like, that was on, uh, back when I, in 2000s that came out, Paul Giamani, and it's based on that real guy, Harvey Peacock, pa Harvey Peacock from Cleveland, and, uh, his buddy was Rad, or Randy, or wait, what was his name? Hold on a second. Robert Crumb, the artist that likes fat short women and piggyback rides or whatever, and he, uh, used to work for American Greetings in Cleveland, and they were friends with Harvey Picar, and he turned some of Harvey Picar's stories into comics, which made this guy famous, and he used to start, the real guy used to be on, um, David Letterman a lot, and then he finally got mad and he left finally, I guess he fought with him all the time, but they basically, it's a combination of the real guy and Paul Giamatti, and a guy playing Toby Ratcliffe, genuine nerd, which if you ever watch early MTV, you'll remember Randy, or the, you know, him. But, uh, yeah. So that's pretty cool. And, uh, 30 Days of Nights in here. Somebody probably want like that thing. I don't think much of it. Uh, Conjuring 2, American Sweetheart. So, anyway, that was cheap. Wow. And then this junk. I got a bag of toys. Which there's a. Is that Neymar? Or is that Aquaman? Or no? Who is that? I don't know. It looks like. Oh, wait. That could be a character from some other uh, Hawaiian movie. Moa? Or whatever. What was that one? I bought it for this character. I have no idea. First, my first. Oh, he's falling apart. Are you kidding me? I didn't know he's broke. His rubber's broke. His legs fell off. That's great. There he is. He is not, I thought he was probably a He-Man guy, or a Turtles guy, or a Toxic Avengers guy, but he is something else, and I looked him up, and I don't remember now. He's got information somewhere here. I don't remember where I saw it now. Oh, right here. Mattel Incorporated, 1981-83, Taiwan. And now he is messed up. Uh, it was only nine minutes. So, I'm not going to try yet. I don't think he's worth a lot. I just buy it because he's a care figure. I haven't seen him before. Uh, I went at a good time for movies, I guess. I don't think any of these are really worth big money for resale. But they're, they're cheap up there now. And there was a lot of movies. And, I got, and she told me she just put these two out. Because I got there and I got one box set. Uh, what is it? Downton Abbey. It's the uh, seasons 1, 2, and 3. And then she, she had just put these out, and it's seasons one, two, three, but they're different, and she gave them to me both for a dollar, I think. Uh, and then uh, all these regular DVDs, I think they're all regular. Twin Peaks, Firewalk With Me, it's dirty, the case is all tape. But I don't know. Blood City and God Said To with Jack Palance, I don't know what that movie is. The Double Bat and Phantom Creeps. This is what I was happy to find. Toolbox Murders. Uh, Toby Hooper. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you got. The Ray Bradbury Theater. Remember that show? And it's a two disc two disc set. Uh, one disc now. We got King. Oh wait. Oh, 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 I bypassed the dang DVDs. Catch it for a honeymoon and die, sister die. I don't know what that is. Uh, Akira Kurosawa, Kurosawa's dreams. I I've had this on video. I think I don't remember if I ever finished watching it or not. I think it's supposed to be pretty good, isn't it? Breeders. Is this an earlier movie? Hopefully not too new because it won't be any good. 1986. I can't think what it is. I know I've seen it. We rented all these movies back in the day. Robot Holocaust. Tim Kincaid directed it. I, that name does sound familiar. One Blu-ray, Land of the Dead. I have it on video. I'll probably get rid of it now on that and keep this... Uh, see, it's really filthy, but it's not scratched. I just need to clean carefully. Uh, and we got Murder Mansion and the Awful About... How Awful About Alan, which has Anthony Perkins. Wouldn't hurt a fly. 
Uh, Rocket Man. When's the last time you saw a copy of this on DVD? It's not easy to come by. Uh, I think Blu-ray is rare. I don't. Did they put it on Blu-ray? I think they did, but Disney doesn't sell this anymore. I think. I think you can buy it through their their when you send you know mail directly to them. That's how you get some of these questionable movies because he makes fun of the Chinese. Remember. Um, yum, yum. Anyway, Pink Floyd, The Wall. Uh, no booklet with it, but it's uh I would assume it's just a DVD. Uh, Pretty. No booklet. I would assume there was supposed to be a booklet. Maybe not. There is a lot of information. So, but why have a pouch if you're not going to have a dang booklet with it? So I did not get a booklet. But I've never seen this issue. It reminds, you know, it looks like uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. All right, and then lastly, oh wait, no, I did get one CD. Amadeus, rock me, Amadeus, Amadeus. Uh, case is messed up. I don't know why I bought it. That's probably good. And I ripped them off. I didn't mean to. I told them I had five VHS and I had six. I didn't mean I didn't notice until I got, uh, I packed my bag and she had like three customers. And I said, you know, they're ten cents. I'm not going to bother. When next time I go up, I'll get her a dime. <laughs> King Ralph. La Strada. I, I don't know what that is. It's some Italian movie or something. Is that Anthony Quinn? Uh, and Black... Yeah, see, I was supposed to put this back, I think. I wasn't going to... One of these I wasn't going to take. And the Legend of Black Thunder Mountain. The Legend of Black Thunder Cat. I love this cat. He smells so nice. Poppy is not doing too good. And i got to get him to a vet because he's losing more weight. He does seem like he's a little better since I quit getting some money. He wants just to eat those tubes of salmon, and it's, I think it's not going any green. He does eat other stuff, though, and he doesn't, other than his pooping, he doesn't seem to have too many problems. No, don't jump in the box, Larry. No. No, you're going to get in trouble. Don't walk in there. Can you even see, Larry? Is this get no, you can't step on my pops. Come on. No, you'll squish them. You weigh too much. Uh-oh. -uh. You're purring, because I love you, buddy. All right, got to get this done so we can get to the other stuff. Uh, Murphy's War, Peter O'Toole. To Catch a Thief. It's an older Paramount one, so I thought I'd buy it. No, uh, no P UPS symbol on it. Uh, it's uh, Cary Grant and Princess Grace Kelly. Oh, she actually went by Princess Grace at this time. Alfred Hitchcock. And the final movie, Tilly's Dragon. I don't know why I grabbed this thing. It's probably the one I was going to put back to get Black Thunder Mountain Bear or whatever the heck it is. So anyway, there you go. On to the other crap now. Just kick this check and make sure it didn't shut off. Ah, so I got... Oh. <laughs> this is way too much stuff for this video. So I don't know how. Maybe I'll have a part two. Uh, Alright, these are a lot of the money I spent. I really don't... Oh, here's another one. Here's the first one I got. They went backwards through the room. I have the Superman figure. And it's, now I looked it up. I had it written down for twenty to forty dollars. I think it sells for I don't know if it's eighty or more dollars. I know it's I know it's at least eighty dollars. I don't know if I'm able to put up on the screen by the average. Uh, it was kinked in. I don't know how much that's going to affect the price. I, I was bidding on this new guy that was up there, and then when he got the second bid, he took these little like sports coins. So I know if he was bidding on that super. But he did take the Mobius. I did not. I let him get it for ten dollars, which I was going to bid higher, at ten to fifteen, only because the one on eBay that did sell 
sold for like forty dollars with free shipping so they're you know depending that could be ten or twenty dollars of your value so, so anyway hopefully it'll turn out good and I didn't overspend uh, I got quite a bit of stuff uh, I paid a lot for some of the figures I got uh, one figure is supposed to have sold as high as two hundred dollars which I don't know why but it supposedly did let me find it this one right here data uh, I don't know why it's a little dirty but it's not it's not too kinked up a little bit of wear but I think all that dust is all mostly on there and it's gonna clean up and look pretty good uh, yeah it's from a I'm hoping it's just not a mix-up that there's a, a, you know, maybe the one I saw was signed. Maybe these weren't, uh, you know, I never double-checked. I was in a lot of hurry looking up all these figures, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's okay. Uh, I did not notice anybody saying they were signed, so I, I think it just must be a rarity. I don't know why it's access granted. Has a lot of stuff. It was from Playmates. I don't see... Oh, there it is, 94, so it's uh, 30 years old, but I don't know. I, you know, that's one thing I forgot when I was looking them up. Now, these were weird. These are the mirrored, remember the mirrored episode? If you're in the Star Trek original, they go and they get, Kirk gets beamed to the ship where the other, those are the, like, mean, the mean crew members. Spock's got a mustache. Anyway, uh, and Kirk, the other Kirk, they instantly know there's something wrong with him when he gets on the other Enterprise. He's not calm and puppet. Now these, I don't know, I, when I first looked up, I first scanned Scotty. And Scotty came up at like $80. But then I also found him for $50. So that's, uh, and I think mostly just the side crew is what's worth something. I don't know if Sulu was worth $50. Uh, but I have two. I have mirrored Sulu, and then I have this Starfleet Gear Sulu, and I don't remember. I did. I took him later. I did not get some of the. I meant to get. There was a, a three, and I think they were in my video. There was three that were the same series, and one was a Klingon, and there was a Spock, I think, and I don't remember what the other one was. And I meant to get those, and the, uh, the other lady, the they have the dog that I always get treats to. She got them, and I. I shouldn't have let her have those. I, I think they're I I think I looked them up and I don't know, maybe they just didn't have any sale comps, but I don't know. Uh so anyway I got Sulu and I got Mirror Sulu. I think the other ones are around fifty bucks a piece. Uh check off I didn't even notice laying there, so I don't know if I looked them up or not. But I grabbed him later on too. I've lost track of how much I actually spent. I spent the most on the Scotties. I want to say I spent 20 bucks a piece on them, but I can't remember now. I may not have had to spend that much, and maybe I got them for 15 but I got two of him. I hope the lighting's okay. I, I'm going to have to redo it if I take it in and take it off and check it. But I got him towards the end, so I didn't pay a lot for this character. I wish I could get the other guy. I love this episode. I don't even remember what everything about it now that the two people hated each other because their faces are opposite <laughs> black and white uh did i show this yeah these are yeah check off sulu here now see they had a whole they had about six or seven of the spock character now if you look at his uniform it's discolored and all of them up there were discolored and the only thing i can think is it's something on the uh, some color in the shine or whatever when it got hit by light it affected it not but then I noticed online I checked and some of them there's one that just had a dark circle around his insignias over here so I'm thinking well maybe they painted it those on and then they had a spray to make sure that those emblems weren't and the kids didn't lick them or something maybe I don't know but that whatever they sprayed over that's what turned or, I, you know, I don't know. I'm sure if I got online, I could probably find out something. I'm sure there's a couple cool geeks out there that know why why they were like that. But, uh, uh, I don't know. I let them. Somebody else got all those other Spocks, and they didn't pay very much for them. But the main crew didn't seem to be selling for as much either. They sold for maybe twenty or twenty-five dollars. Like I said, I got the two Spock or the two two of them. I got. Oh, I got two checkoffs. I must have thought checkoff and Sulu, they have the same uniform. And I don't know which one I actually end up scanning. 
but I think I only scanned one of them, so I don't know. And I have one, two Sulus, two Chekhovs, because I left Chekhov thinking he was another Sulu, and I'm not really greedy. I don't care if I grab everything up there. Uh, but, oh, I got three Chekhovs. What? I like the three. See, I thought those were Sulus. That's cool. And I got a, oh, the one mirrored Sulu. So that was Chekhov. I was showing you a Sulu. Sorry, that probably made more sense now. Does it? Does anything I say make sense? Alright, so I got all those figures. Um, I didn't expect my bill to be so high. I ended up getting two of those pop figures that were sitting there. I got this Fortnite figure. It didn't seem like the other one was worth as much. Not that either of these were worth much. A period of ass. I don't know. I'm gonna try to ask more than five bucks because I, I don't I think I paid three plus tax, so and this venom's cool, but I got those. I was gonna grab that Spider Man. I don't know why. I should have grabbed him over Venom. I actually like Venom better. That I don't think that Tom Hardy thing's that bad. It's a little quirky. It could be better, but it's not the worst thing ever. Um shoot, I don't know what to do. Oh, I got this at Salvation Army. White was ninety nine cents, so I got it up cheaper poster thing but 99 cents you can't beat that i'll find a poster i need to have for the flea market or erie and i will uh put it in that because at least a ten dollar frame i'm assuming at walmart or somewhere maybe maybe a little more it's pretty big all right now let's see if i can destroy all my profits <laughs> i need to put these in here somewhere all right now um is that it? I think. What did they say was in this box of comics I did buy? Let's see. Uh, I doubt if you're going to see them unless I feel like it. Here's a reprint of the first Spider Man Amazing amazing Number One. It's not technically a first. His first appearance is in Final, or Final Fantasy. <laughs> amazing Fantasy 15, and I had it once. I, I bought comics. An old lady called my store. She lived down by Reno and said she had a bunch of Marvel. And wanted to sell them. She told me she wanted, uh, I don't remember now, 200 and some bucks or something for them. I went down and she had a lot of Fantastic Four and stuff. I got 48, 49, and 50. And if you're familiar with Fantastic Four, that's the Silver Surfer Galactus out issues. And uh, the leader. Uh, mm, oh, and that issue of Amazing Fantasy. Now, it had the bottom of the cover was tore off. And then somebody had taken ink and drew on the Spider-Man's holding the criminal, and they took and drew pointy ink feet on that criminal guy. And I don't remember if there's any other writing, but then I took it to Weeder that ha he's now in town down there, and I sold it that issue for $150 to him, and I well partly cash, partly trade. I got a couple upper deck sets and things. Well, that's that issue now after the Spider-Man movies came out a few years later, uh, it's like went way up way way up even with that damage originally it just wasn't worth a lot because it wasn't necessarily a completely rare issue even though I only ever saw one amazing fantasy when I in all the years of my comics I mean I actually found it anyway I'm sure I go to a comic convention you're gonna find them but the thing was always that it wasn't necessarily that rare it was just that finding it in really good shape was rare but I think it was always a lie I think because Fantastic Four number one is very hard to find yeah, I've never seen one in the wild, ever found one. Uh, most comic stores don't really have one. You'd have to go to a con to probably find one. I'm sure there's some on eBay. But anyway, back to this crap. This video is way too long now. There's a lot of this stuff. I'm sure there's going to be some stuff in here people might want. There's Amazing Fantasy. Hey, maybe that cover's in here. I can show you what it looks like. Here we go. Nope, that's not it. This must be a new series or something. I don't know. There's some spider man I didn't even remember those were in here. There's Batman. Uh, I can't remember. I don't know if this was somebody's store stuff or if this was just a collection. People collect up a lot of stuff. Batman, Superman, World's Finest. Those are cool. I think they're mostly in order until I messed them up. And there's some Daredevil issues. Ah, they weren't in order. So I remember that I saw a few older issues mixed in with the new ones. I'm assuming maybe somebody went through, they were getting rid of it, somebody passed away, somebody had to move, somebody had to get rid of stuff, so they just took out the stuff they didn't want to get rid of, and this is, and they took the rest of the auction. Now, maybe there'll be more next week, I don't know. Some neat dare, daredevil issues. But like I said, I don't know what I'm doing with them yet. I think a lot of the stuff will be dollar issues, and I'll try to clear it out. 
There's a reprint of the first detective with Batman, detective number 27, May 1923. And this, uh, they sold this for $6.99. Now this could have value if they didn't make too many of them. Here's another reprint of detective number 38, which is the first Robin. I'm used to that wider view with the one camera. I guess I'm always using this one. So here's Fantastic Four, the first Black Panther. Is this a reprint too? Yep, three ninety nine. It's a reprint of number fifty two of Fantastic Four. I probably had that thing <laughs> back in the day, but he wasn't worth anything then. And Black Panther was pretty common. Not a lot of people were into him. Yeah, anyway, so we got some other uh, stuff. I don't even know what it is. Nightwing. A bunch of uh, Savage Avengers. I don't know what that is. These are all after my time. I sold comics. I had closed my store in 2000, but I kept doing comic files up until 2010 uh, out of my apartment. It was a pain in the butt. I had to make orders every month. I got sick of it. My one main customer kept me ordering because Diamond kept raising the quantity of how much you had to order. I had to have like three or four hundred dollars in a thing. Now on comics they covered the whole cover price, not what I paid, but on cards and stuff they only covered what I paid, not what they were worth. So it was hard to make a quota and then when the one guy was deciding he was quitting, that made me, I said, I'm done. I can't do it. Because a lot of the people I was waiting on for, uh, weeks on time to come get their stuff because they weren't coming every week like they used to. Got some of the Spider-Man 2099. Here's a reprint of the first Superman. Well, the first his original his solo issue, Amazing or Action Comics is the first one. There's a uh, the cheap version of the Superman Dead issue. The Return of Jor-El, Titans. Variants, whatever that is, Jessica Jones, wasn't that a TV show? Here's a reprint of Wonder Woman, number 204, introducing Nubia. Is that that character from, um, no, that's Guardians of the Galaxy, I'm thinking. Another Wonder Woman, Young Jessica in the back, there it is. Some Star Trek books, not sure if they're worth anything. Oh, and there's the, the Thick Death of Superman book. Oh, that's cool. And the Star Trek Dead of Honor. And then an empty Butterfinger candy bar box to fill up the gap, I guess, is what that's for. Anyway, uh, I guess the other, unless you already seen it. Oh, jeez, I don't even do. I guess the Salvation Army stuff. I would have probably put it before this stuff. Huh. I was not supposed to get through these comics. And I'm going to edit some of this if it's too long to save you the pain. Haven't got time for the pain. I'll probably hold on to the animated series. Uh, I may hold on to the Blu-ray of Star Trek. I, I've always fancied when I haven't seen it for a long time and how bright the colors are when you see a nice good print of that old Star Trek show and how the colors are so vibrant. Ow. So I take this in and try to put this on and put on that data and if all's well and I wasn't off on this and the Superman and the data, I should have all my money back for those three things. Or did I say three things? Two, three, yeah, three things. So anyway, and then everything else will be my profit margin, other than when I bang this around and knock parts of the value down. So anyway, um... Thanks for watching, and, uh... <laughs> oh! Wow, that took some adjustment. Man, that light's right in my face. Uh, I don't think it's helping. Oh my gosh. It's not my phone. Darn it. On to the other crap now.